everyone, and welcome to Meet the Scientist. I am Daniela Moles from Welt Marketing Department, and I'm very happy to have as our guest Dr. Maria Di Cairano from the University of Basilicata here in Italy, who will share interesting studies and findings on fat oxidation stability with the use of the Welt Oxitas applied to various food samples. But first of all, let me introduce you to the Velp Oxytest. It's here with me, the Velp Oxytest. It's the innovative analytical instrument for the investigation of fat oxidation stability. The Oxytest method is a validated standard procedure by the IOCS in 2017 after a long process of validation in which many companies and laboratories took part. How does the Oxytest work? The Oxytest speeds up the oxidation process, which in normal conditions can last weeks or even months, thanks to two accelerating factors, which are high constant temperature and oxygen pressure. Basically, the instrument consists of two highly resistant titanium heating chambers, which during the analysis are at constant temperature. Furthermore, the instrument is supplied with spacers and dedicated sample holders. Depending on the percentage of fat content of the sample that we want to analyze, we can choose the correct mix of spacers and sample holders to insert in our uh, independent titanium heating chambers. Here, for example, I have a content, I have a sample with a high level of fat. Uh, it's grinded and perfectly homogenized and I can simply place it with two spacers inside the titanium heating chamber. Then I place the closing. I start securing it. And I complete the process. The Oxytest measures the absolute pressure change of oxygen inside the two independent titanium heating chambers, generating automatically an IP value. What's the IP? The induction period, meaning the time required by the sample to reach the starting point of oxidation. And the IP, as I was mentioning, is generated automatically because the Oxytas is powered by the Oxysoft software, which allows to generate IPs for further analysis, so many different IPs for several applications. And of course, it allows you to set all the parameters to start the analysis and monitor it in a real time. What's unique about the Oxytest regarding connectivity? Not only the Oxysoft software, but also the connection to the Velpermis cloud platform, an innovative solution that allows you to monitor data, the instrument working conditions, anywhere, anytime, from any device, PC, tablet, or smartphone, and it also allows you to benefit from exclusive service support from our technicians here in Italy or from our network of partners worldwide. What about applications? The Oxytest is perfect to investigate the behavior of fat oxidation stability for many different types of applications, 
such as freshness tests on raw materials, as well as formulas comparisons for product development or packaging comparisons, up to IP during aging in order to evaluate and estimate the period, the storage period of your product. And then we can also estimate the shelf life of a product. The oxy test is particularly appreciated by R&D and quality control labs in several different industries, such as food and feed, beverage, but also cosmetic, chemical, pharmaceutical, petrochemical. Because what's unique about the oxy test? The oxy test works on the whole sample without uh, extensive and preliminary fat separation guaranteeing reproducible and representative results. And the only requirement is that the sample is rich in fats. It contains a high level of fat, be it food, feed, or a cream, for example. And uh, of course, now we were going to host, to have as a host, uh, Dr. Maria Di Cairano from the Academia World, uh, who will share uh, her findings and uh, many researches, in this case, on uh, various uh, food samples supporting local food manufacturers and producers. So, thank you, Maria, for being here with us virtually today, and I leave the floor to you. Hello everyone, uh, I come from School of Agricultural Forest, Food and Environmental Sciences of Università degli Studi della Basilicata, located in Potenza, Italy. Our school deals with research and teaching activity in the field of uh, agricultural, veterinary and biological sciences. One of the main uh, purpose of our school is to be a driving force for the, uh, is, is to be a driving force for the the development of Basilicata region. So we offer our expertise also to local activities. In particular, I'm a part of the food, and sci food science and technology in research groups and our activities are mainly focused on the development and optimization of food products, uh, their uh, sensory analysis and on the recovery of valuable compounds from food byproducts by and so on. When dealing with, uh, with research activities, the timing and the cost of the research can be very different depending on whether you deal with big projects or you have to answer to, to, the, to, the, to the demand of local activities. So our, uh, our team offers a solution in the field of shelf life prediction uh, in the field of shelf life prediction, sorry, assessment of shelf life, chemical and sensory characterization of foods, and development of food with a high added value. So, within this expertise, Oxytest by Vet Scientifica helps us in our daily tasks. So, in this presentation, I'm going to shortly explore some of the application of, uh, of Oxytest in our lab. Let's start with some example on bakery products. Uh, a local producer uh, provided us four different types of sweet and salty bakery products, and our aim was to evaluate their oxidative stability, both by oxytest and sensory analysis, alongside with classical chemical uh, analysis. The products were monitored for one year. As first results, I'm going to show you uh, the um, uh, the, uh, as first result, we saw that the oxidative stability can be very different between different products. Here, as an example, we see that biscuits were, were much more stable compared to other products, such as 
crackers, for, exa for example, and this was uh, mainly due to the ingredients employed in the result. For example, biscuits were made with palm oil, which is well known for its high stability to oxidation due to its composition uh, with saturated fatty acid. Whereas in crackers, we had also olive oil that is less stable. We can see uh, the, that, that from the EP value, that is the induction period value. The longer the EP value, the more stable the pro a product is to, the oxida to uh, oxidation. When dealing with product uh, with a high fat content and low, low moisture, uh, the, the main reaction that limits the shelf life of a product is the, is the oxidation of the fats. Oxytest, thanks to its management software, uh, offer the offers the possibility to offer, offer the possibility to predict the shelf life of a product. So thanks to this feature, we were able to give some suggestion to the producer about the shelf life of its product. Indeed, some products such as biscuit could have a longer shelf life than what reported on the package, whereas some others, such as crackers, should have a shelf life shorter. And this result was also confirmed by sensory studies. So here, as an example, I reported the, the spider plot relating to quantitative descriptive analysis, uh, that is a sensory analysis technique relating to one of the product, and the different colored lines uh, represent uh, the, the characteristic of the product at four time uh, in, at interval of, uh, uh, sorry, at different time interval made at four months each. So we can see that uh, some attributes change during time. In particular, I want to highlight the, that oxidized aroma and flavor uh, were significantly different during time. So what we found was interesting because there was a correlation between induction, pe induction period and oxidized flower and aroma. However, with this study, we also highlighted how important it is uh, the importance of sensory studies in the in the definition of shelf life of a product so now let's see another example uh, now I, i'm i'm going to talk about croutons of bread with olive oil there was a local bakery interesting in the extension of the shelf life of, a, of the product and so thanks to oxytest uh, we made a first screening uh, in order to frame the problem and try to offer a rapid solution to the producer. Croutons of bread are roasted pieces of bread covered with extra virgin olive oil. The producer adopted two techniques in order to do them. He added the oil before roasting or after roasting. In both cases, the product, the product was packaged in transparent plastic trays. In this uh, graph, we see the, sh the predicted shelf life by oxytest of the product with oil added after cooking and before cooking. We can see that the when the oil was added before cooking, the shelf life was much shorter compared to the other product. What happens during the roasting, the oil uh, is stressed, so it becomes more sensitive to the oxidation. So thanks to this application, we were able to give concrete suggestions to the producer in order to extend the shelf life of his product. So it should be at the oil after roasting. The packaging should be improved by using maybe modified atmosphere in order to exclude oxygen from the, from the package, and also by using a film that protect the, the product from the light. Moreover, thanks to some analysis we made on the on oil batches they provided us, they should rely on suppliers more able to, uh, able to guarantee standard raw material during time, and they should assure a proper storage of the oil in the warehouse. Now I'm going to show, an exam to show you an example on biscuits. As part of an industrial PhD project, we made four formulations of gluten-free biscuits based on buckwheat, sorghum, and lentil flour. And in order to reduce the glycemic index, we use it, uh, we added resistant starch and we replace it totally or partially the sucrose with inulin or martitol. And we studied the oxidation of this biscuit thanks to oxytest. 
Uh, in the graph, we see the induction period of the fourth formulation of the biscuit, and we we also report and I also reported the, the amount of sugars uh, added to the recipe. Uh, I want to add that the fat content of each formulation was always the same, and the type of fat was always the same. We used the high oleic sunflower oil. So it is interesting to see that EP decreased for increasing per percentages of sucrose replacement. However, this data needs further insights uh, and a wider number of samples in order to understand the phenomena behind, to confirm and understand the phenomena behind these results. Now, let's leave aside bakery product and I'm going to show you an application of OxyTest on uh, novel foods. In particular, I'm talking about chia seeds. Chia seeds uh, are derived from Salvia hispanica, a typical crop of Central America, uh, and they are well known for their richness in good, uh, in good fats and for their nutraceutical compounds. They've been added in the European list of novel foods since 2009. They were object of a study that involved uh, agronomists and food technologists, and within the project, the OxyTest was used to uh, evaluate the oxidative stability of the product and uh, of chia seeds grown in Basilicata and comparing them with that of chia seeds grown in a typical growing area. What we saw is that commercial seeds growing in Peru had a longer shelf life compared to the seeds grown in Basilicata. What we were able to see is that seeds grown in Basilicata had higher peroxide value compared to commercial seeds from Peru. So this shorter shelf life could be due to, to that. Now, as last example, I'm, gonna, I'm going to show you a result relating to uh, the use of oxytest on extra virgin olive oil, uh, a chemical characterization uh, and evaluation by oxytest was made on different extra virgin olive oils from Garda area in North Italy and some oils from Basilicata region. In both cases, we saw that uh, the poly polyphenol content was strongly related to the, the, the induction period of the product. Uh, so there was a positive correlation between total phenolic content and EP values, and also uh, with alpha tocopherol content. All in all, oils for, from Garda were more stable compared to oils from Basilicata uh, due to their difference in fatty acid composition. So this data, actually confirmed the fact that the presence of antioxidant compounds such as polyphenols helps to prevent the oxidation of a product. So here we, I reported some picture of the use of OxyTest in our lab. Uh, this is a very useful instrument. Uh, one of, of its main uh, advantage is the fact that you can, you can analyze the sample without any preliminary treatment. It is a very easy to use tool and allows to, to, do a, to evaluate the oxidative stability of the whole product. So considering all the interaction between the ingredients. And thanks to that, you can also use it beside doing shelf life tests, also to explore correlation between components of the food and uh, the, uh, the st its stability. So this was my uh, our, our experience of the OxyTest in Food Science and Technology Lab at University of Basilicata. Thank you for the attention. Thank you, Maria, for your interesting presentation. I'd like to further discuss a couple of topics with you. So, first of all, oxidative stability of bakery products by oxytest and sensory analysis. Your results show that it is critical to perform a dedicated analysis to predict the correct shelf life. I'd like to explore your point of view about this. Would you suggest to every producer to do so, or is the estimation in some cases just enough? Okay, thank you for the question, Daniela. This is actually a hard question to, to answer because 
in some cases, the estimation with oxy test would be enough. But uh, in my personal opinion, I think that you should know very well which is the development of the product to, during the during the storage. Because, for example, uh, there could be changes in the texture that would impair your sensory properties. So maybe from oxidation point of view, you, you are okay. I don't know, you don't perceive the oxidized aroma or flavor, but you have a product that won't be appreciated by consumer because big change in texture or other, uh, or other uh, un, uh, of aroma of fodder uh, developed during storage. So I think that if you know well which is uh, your product and how it evolves during shelf life, uh, it's okay to use only the estimation of the oxidase. Otherwise, it will be very important to have uh, also, uh, a, also a sensory study paired to oxidase study. Uh, I also take this occasion to, to say that often sensory analysis all above from small producers uh, is neglected. Uh, because it costs money and they don't see how much it can be useful. But a big producer probably would go, uh, if he goes for, uh, a, for sensory analysis in order to explore the, the oxidative stability and do a proper shelf life prediction uh, would be better. Thank you, Maria, for your answer. Extremely interesting again. And... Uh... One question more, is there any correlation or interesting evidence you identified by testing the same exact sample with the oxy test and with a traditional technique? Uh, if we want to talk about uh, analytical parameters made with classical analysis in lab, uh, there are no always uh, correlation with parameters, but uh, as I, I, I said earlier, uh, in some times peroxide value, mm, there is a correlation with the oxy test and other, uh, in other occasion, uh, there are a uh, correlation mostly with, uh, with phenolic, uh, phenolic compounds. Uh, if we have to talk about uh, acidity or other parameters such as uh, uh, Delta Kappa, uh, there are not always uh, relationship, but uh, some trends uh, have have been found. Also, some other report, uh, some other authors reported some correlation with peroxide value. And thank you, Maria. One last question for you: How has the oxy test changed the, the analysis and operation in your laboratories? Which features of the oxytus would you say are the most important ones, or especially the ones that you prefer in terms of usability, of course? Okay, so if I to answer personally, I like the fact that you don't have to to preliminary extract the fat from the product, which is sometimes is very annoying. So you just put your sample in the oxy test and you you go with the with the analysis. So this is a very this is a very useful uh, uh, feature, I think. Uh, moreover, uh, when we use it in our lab, we find that it is a very simple instrument to use. Uh, indeed, also. When we have trainees or students, both master and bachelor students, with a quick training, they are uh, able to to use the instrument. So uh, it's uh, it's very I can say it's user friendly both from the software point of view, but also from the hardware uh, point of view. So it allows us to do rapid screening of of samples, and maybe then we can decide also to go with other analysis in chemical lab or we just sometimes uh, results from oxy test can be uh, enough for uh, what we were looking for. Thank you, Maria, for your participation. Extremely interesting insights and presentation. And thank you everyone for watching. You can find further information and content on our website and of course all the contacts, so we are here to support you.
Thank you. Bye-bye from Develop Lab.